Welcome back to another module in your journey on becoming a compassionate samurai. There's 10 traits in being a compassionate samurai and one of them is on abundance. And I have a very unique definition I believe for abundance. There's a lot of great definitions out there but it's important to have abundance otherwise you can have some great ideas and you won't be able to execute them. And if you have compassion for people but you don't have an abundant mindset then you won't be able to bless as many people so abundance is one of the fundamental ten traits of a compassionate samurai let me start out with a definition for abundance abundance is a viewpoint that my wholeness or completeness is not dependent on external circumstances. The idea that our wholeness and our completeness is not dependent on external circumstances. That's very different. A lot of people, and there's other great definitions for abundance. I mean, I think that uh, uh, Buckminster Fuller, who some look at as one of the geniuses of the last century, once said that abundance is being able to continue your current lifestyle uh, for a period of time without working or something like that. That's great. But this, as you'll notice, has nothing to do with the amount of money you have. Nothing to do with any external circumstance. It's the notion that your wholeness and your completeness is not dependent on all that. Most people are trying to become more whole or more complete by making more money, uh, having a relationship, going from single to married, or uh, in some way changing an external circumstance in order to feel more complete. And we have a whole different notion. This is actually a very spiritual definition. If you go back to uh, our other modules that we have, we had a module where we looked at us as human beings as a three-level snowman or snow person. A conscious mind, a head, a subconscious heart, and then whatever you wanted to call the bottom infinite level, which I call God. And so when we see that we're connected to that infinite level, there is nothing you can do to be more complete. And there's nothing you can do to make yourself less complete once you have that connection. So having that mindset of completeness and taking it to a relationship or taking it to our finances changes how we go about uh, living the marriage or parenting or making money in the business world. So we're going to get into some specifics on that in just a minute. Uh, the other definition that's the opposite of this that I want to put up there that uh, you can look at is scarcity. Scarcity would be the opposite mindset or if you've looked at our other modules, the sunglasses if you will. And scarcity is the viewpoint that there is not enough. And this is usually based on the viewpoint that I'm not enough. So again, how these tie together, when we start viewing that there's not enough time in the day, there's not enough money, there's not enough good men or good women, there's not enough opportunity, there's not enough uh, great leaders, there's not enough oil, there's not enough whatever. When we're looking that there's not enough, it's usually based on a viewpoint that I'm not enough. So we're trying to fill that not enough up to solve the problem and it really doesn't solve the problem. Now, I'm going to suggest that one of the fundamental pieces of a scarcity viewpoint that there's not enough is what I call either or. And you'll see either or all over the place. So let me put that up just as a concept for you to chew on. The either or mindset. either or. 
So you'll hear people talk about, um, well, I can either do this or do that. I can either have a career or take care of my family. I can either go on vacation or buy a car. I can either do this or do that. That's out of a uh, thinking that's very fixed on things and an abundant mindset goes out of this. So one of the first things that I'm going to suggest in your journey to develop a more abundant mindset, because to me it is a process. I mean, when I started my journey, and we'll just talk the financial realm for a minute, $100 was a big deal. And if, for me to give away $100 was a, a, a huge deal. Um, now I've generated millions that I've been able to give away. Uh, and again, either or, giving away doesn't mean that I have less. <laughs> we can get into that in a minute. So this either or mindset, uh, compassionate samurai asked the question, how can I instead of can I? So you want to train yourself to ask the question, how can I instead of can I? Versus uh, can I? Because when a person is thinking, can I, and this is the way most human beings think. They look at the external. They look at the size of their bank balance, how much money they have in their checking account. They look at how much time they have in the day and what they have scheduled. And then they go, mm, can I or can't I do this opportunity? So I was with somebody a ways back, and we were talking about our seminars. And, and the lady instantly went, well, I'd like to go, but I can't because I'm working Saturday. In other words, in her mind, it was either one or the other. Her mind was not working at how can I get both done. The abundant mindset of instead of either or, the opposite of that, abundant is how do I do both? And so you start out with how can I? So if this lady had, had approached the situation and gone, okay, how can I do the seminar? Instead of can I, based on my limited resources and my eyes and ears see, how can I uh, solve this problem? Then the mind, the subconscious, would have started coming up with a solution. I was, uh, one Christmas, I pulled into my driveway and uh, on the radio as I was pulling in, KNBR in the Bay Area was a sports auction. And the item that was up, that was being bid on, was for charity for children, uh, was about, it was, the bidding was currently about $9,000. And it was a series of items in a package. There were tickets to, in fact, I think there were 25 tickets to a uh, Lakers basketball game. And this is back when uh, both Shaq and Kobe were there. And then, uh, oh, it had two tickets to the Super Bowl on a, uh, you know, the airplane ticket, the box seats ticket to the Super Bowl, a whole package there. So a bunch of items. And I got really excited about it. And I uh, actually went in, uh, called the uh, station got through. Uh, I put in a bid, I think about $10,500 and uh, hung up. And then I thought, wow, how long does this last? And it turned out that it was only going to last another couple minutes. And I uh, got back on the phone. And I never got through. Somebody else won the item. And I was telling the story the next day. And a person went, man, I wish I had $10,000 so I could buy something like that. And I said, now you're not thinking at it correctly. You want to think, how can I? Not can I, whether you have 10000 in the bank or not, but how can I? My mind was going, look, I could take the 25 tickets to the basketball game. I don't even like basketball. And if I wanted to, I could sell those for X. I could take the two Super Bowl tickets, right, sell those for X. By the time I was done, I could have given away... Or, or I could have sold half the products in this package, got my 10 grand back, and still had half the products. Or another way of looking at it is, I could have looked at advertising dollars for Clemmer and Associates. What if I went to the basketball game and got Kobe to sign my book or something like that? How could I use that? So when you start thinking, how can I, lots of options come up to you that you would never even consider. You, you cancel yourself out of the game by looking at can I. So anytime you're looking at any opportunity that's out there, what we're going to encourage you to do in developing your abundant mindset is to ask yourself, how can I do this? And then you start getting out of the box, looking to solve the problem. And you can uh, find a great technique for that in one of the other modules that we call intention or the formula of champions.